So hello, it's Melbourne Cup Day today. I'm going to show you this microphone. I'm just going to test it out in this room. This is the studio, our studio microphone. And the box that comes in is iRig Mic Studio. So as you can see that it's flashing green and blue there. That means it's working. And this is just testing it out with iPad Pro as the recorder. Got it on the front screen. Um, so I'm going to turn the screen around in a minute and show you some different clips I'm doing. So Obviously I'm touching the base of the mic, but what you get in the box is this, this little studio box. Um, now you get the little, you get a little pouch that it can go in to travel with, which is pretty cool. You get this little microphone, I um, don't want to touch it too much because I'm obviously going to make sounds coming out. Um, it's got a little stand that it goes in onto, so it's two, got two parts to that stand. And what you could do, um, this is going to make a bit of noise when I, when I do this, is um, probably fold these up and use it as a little boom sort of like that holding it somewhere or you could gaffer tape this to something if you wanted it to kind of be above you like out or out like this would be in the shot this would be out of the shot so um, this is a condenser mic um, which is a much more high quality microphone than a, a, a normal microphone so well I don't know what the normal microphones are called but um, like a SM58 sort of microphone um, the difference with a condenser mic is it's going to pick up lots of different sounds, you know, ambient sort of sounds and things like that. And this um, has a little button on here to change the gain on the mic. So if we turn that all the way up, you're probably going to get a little bit of feedback on it. But I'm just testing it out in the office room uh, where the, and I'm talking at a pretty low volume. Um, I've turned the gain right up now. So I'm just going to turn that gain back down to the middle so you can see that there. Um, obviously, all the tapping and touching on this stand, which I'll just tilt this a little bit so you can see, um, just the little stand that it's on. You don't want to tap and touch that too much, otherwise that's going to make more sounds. But I just thought I'd like this is another example of what I've done with the microphone. I'm just going to show you. I've just put it down here and um, let's see what it, let's see what it does. About making some herbs and whether it can pick up these little sounds. Speaking pretty quiet, really. Take my headphones off. Let's see what kind of noises it would pick up. It's still only on 12 o'clock. see what sound it's going to make so I'm going to just turn this up I just pour out some of this so this is shower child
All right, so now we've got the gain to one o'clock and I'm talking in a bit of a louder voice as well. This is kind of the voice I would use normally to talk on a, on a um, podcast or something like that. You can see the, uh, the iStudio, iRig Studio mic is working quite well. So um, yeah, I highly recommend this mic for people that want to do podcasting or make videos, recording, maybe some ambient sounds. You want to record outside and capture little tweets of birds and things like that. Um, it, it's totally portable, you don't need batteries, it just relies on the batteries of your iPad or your phone. It's quite small, the size of it, it can fit in the, the little pouch that it comes with is pretty cool. And um, yeah, if you're going to record outside you might want to get a windsock for it to, to stop the, um, that will buffer the wind sound that it comes. But in, in a normal room or something like that, the only downside with a condenser mic is it does pick up all that ambient noise. And if you don't want that, or well, you have to be careful where you place it, because it will pick up this kind of sound, like tapping on the on the desk, um, things like that, doors opening, things, people's feet on the floor, a lot more than a microphone right at your face. But you can also hide it out of shot, so you're not having it in having it in the shot. And um, yeah, so this is this is great. I'm really happy with this mic. And uh, yeah, I would I'd totally rate that and I think it will help people that, um, so that just in comparison, the, the previous videos I made for my MailChimp group, um, I was doing them on the fly. That was something I wanted to just quickly do to show people how to do something. And um, I didn't have time to re-record it, but I was really unhappy with the audio. This is our hack number five. This is an example of the um, audio that you just get from the iPad straight without the microphone. So anyway, just how it packs up. And Kind of get an idea of the quality of the sounds. So, so I'm talking the same level of voice that I was before. Um, so I know this won't be very loud because this is just this recording before, and they didn't think of that. But like, like I'm in my clinic now, and there's lots of other people around. I can't use a big bombastic voice right now, otherwise it'll just annoy the lovely lady over down here. It's terrible. It was actually for some reason coming like up and down, up and down. And um, it's so annoying. And so if you have an idea and you want to record that idea straight away, this is perfect because you don't have to bug, bug, bugger or rise around with any setup. Um, you, you literally just buy this, you plug it in, you don't have to install any software, it just plays. So it also works with um, just any recording device. So I'm using this on um, 
just recording on uh, the, the video app, um, app that comes with the Apple computer. Um, sorry, it comes with the um, iPad, but you can also use the recording apps that you buy just if you want to make a nice clear audio recording. I did a few of those this morning. Um, yeah, and so if, if we have the gain up really high, you can capture more of these sort of hand sounds or different um, s slightly um, you know, lower voice sounds or different low sounds. And uh, yeah, you can just experiment with that um, before you pump out your video which where you need your gain to be set up. Um, so that it comes out nice and clear. But um, yeah, highly rate this, this one for 